ARS is the spokesperson for acne in rosacea. We're there for companies, physicians who take care of acne and rosacea, and for patients as an organization that's really dedicated to making the field better and minimizing the disease impact. We've done an incredible job, I think, in the last few years of, of highlighting acne research. So some of the activities at the Society for Investigative Dermatology, that's now part of a standard thing early on in the meeting where there's a symposium. I think that's something that really, for the scientific community, shows what's happening and gets other people interested. Certainly we had no pediatric acne guidelines and um, ARS really put together a phenomenal group of people to do a real evidence-based approach. And those guidelines ended up getting endorsed by the American Academy of Pediatrics, which makes them a more powerful process and certainly incredibly proud. Hopefully that will continue to play out to improve the care of acne. Research in acne is really important. It is one of the most common skin diseases that we see. We need to keep acne on the map. We need to keep people interested. We need to keep our next generation of dermatologists and researchers interested in acne as a disease. Their support from the Acne and Rosacea Society is key for many of those people to one, become interested in acne as a research area and to be able to make those first steps that can lead to perhaps a lifelong career in looking at acne, both from a clinical and research standpoint. We still need more people working in acne at a, at a basic level than we have right now. The rest of the world, in my opinion, is way ahead of us in terms of funding people to do work. So if the research is to be done, and if it's to be basic research that opens up new areas, it really has to be done by investigators and universities who have funding to do it. ARS is in the position to do that sort of funding, to get people going, to let them test ideas out enough to write a R01 grant that, that will give them more permanent funding. And it's absolutely critical because we're not gonna get it done any other way.